SolveYourTech.com, your source for how-to guides and tutorials. Welcome to our video about haptics on an iPhone. If this guide helps you out, then please consider subscribing and liking this video. If you've been scrolling through the settings menu on your iPhone, then you've probably found some options for something called haptics. Haptics are similar to vibration in that they provide physical feedback when you complete an action. For example, if you have haptics enabled and you type in your keyboard, then that little bit of vibration you feel as you type a letter is a haptic. Haptics can also be found when you change a setting in the settings menu, or if you're playing a game, or when you long press on an app or a different screen on one of your apps, and it'll tell you that you've completed an action, or that a new menu is open, or that there's something else that you can adjust. There's a few different haptic settings that you can change in the settings app. So you can do this by opening the settings menu, then you can scroll down and select sounds and haptics. And then you're going to see a haptics option in the ringtone and alert section. And here you can choose whether you would like your haptics for ringtones and alerts to play all the time or just in silent mode, or if you don't want them to play in either of those situations, you could also choose something like your ringtone or text tone, and you're going to find a haptics option there as well. So if you would like to change the haptic feedback that plays when you get a phone call or a text message, then you can choose a different haptic pattern for that situation. The final haptic setting that you're going to see on this menu is in the system sounds and haptics menu. So if you tap the button to the right of system haptics to turn it on or off, then that's going to adjust whether your haptics play for system controls and interactions. Now, if you're finding that your haptics aren't playing at all, then it's possible that you have vibration turned off on your phone. So if you scroll down to the accessibility option on the settings menu, and then you choose touch, you're going to find a vibration option here. And if that's turned on, then you're going to want to turn it, or if that's turned off, then you're going to want to turn it back on so that your haptics play. Or similarly, if you don't want haptics to play at all, then you can just turn that off and then you're not going to feel any vibrations or haptics. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more tech guides like this one. For additional information on this topic and to read the entire article, click the link in the description to visit solveyourtech.com.